hello, 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 and welcome to my little YouTube channel, the RDE and G Network. Uh huh, uh huh. So today we are looking at Batchy's channel on the YouTube sphere. Batchy is a small Scottish YouTuber, normally does between 10 and 15 minutes worth of videos, sometimes less, sometimes more. I find him funny, so we're looking at his channel and seeing what's good. There will be swearing and all that other useless shit, potentially offensive comments, I don't know. But better to warn you cunts now. Alright, alright. And with that, let's go and have a look. And we're going that way. You still here? I said let's roll the fucking tape. to 21st century Scotland. Shite hole. Over the last few years, there's been many advances in technology. Mobile phones. Computers. Just... Bit of a failure at destruction there, Batchy. Justin Bieber? Eh, worth Get a shot. Out of all these technological advances, there's bound to be something that I hate. It's just a lot of averages. At the minute, the biggest problem I have is with texting and social media. I especially hate texting though. The irritation of trying to get my fat fingers to type on tiny wee overly sensitive I think he's describing my problem with my little fat thumbs. I actually feel kind of upset now. I'm suing this cunt. Keys. The autocorrect spelling that makes you tell your brother that you want to kick the duck out of <laughs> him or call him a banker. Ya bank. I may have called my cousin a docking cunt before. Probably because cunt doesn't really have any weird other spelling, according to iPhones, but hey ho. Incarie and bloody emojis. What is this emoji obsession that everyone seems to have at the minute? Oh, I want to express my feelings to you via a small single image, because banging on for message after message isn't enough for me to tell you how sad that I really am. I need that wee crying face at the end of it, I know. I tried to use an emoji once, just to make sure I hadn't missed the point and for the benefit of a fair experiment, you know. I used the crying with laughter face instead of the crying face by accident. <laughs> Can you imagine how hard that was to explain to the wife? I know why he said I hated your mum, but I didn't mean I was crying with laughter. I thought it was a sad face. It was a wee bit funny though. I mean, who'd want <laughs> to try to drink an entire bowl of liquid chocolate? I mean, she must have been at it like an old station dog. There's no. Oh shit. Let's play. Need to chuck a bag at me. <laughs> Texting isn't even the end of it these days. Well, that's going to some good lens for a video, that's for sure. Keep it up, Bat Jerry. There used to be a point where you could ignore a text, ignore a phone call and, and still go about and live a reasonably normal life. Nowadays there's so many platforms of social media for people to track you down on, it's impossible to hide. I mean, if you really want to ignore someone and then they start DMing you on Twitter, messaging you on Instagram or Facebook Messenger, Skype, WhatsApp, Xbox Live, that's you at the game. Well and bloody truly. With this whole social media shite, it logs... Yeah, have you not noticed that though? Every form of social media nowadays lets you stalk people. Isn't that a beauty of it? GN has been online, so everybody knows that you're there. I mean, imagine someone DMs you on Twitter, right? You didn't reply to them, because they're a wee bit of a prick. Then they see you tweeting two minutes later. That's you busted. Now you've got to talk to them. Look, I really don't like you. Really, really. Please, can you stop messaging me? I don't care if you are, mum. <laughs> I hate you. Whereas with That's text messages and phone calls. So where have you been? Oh, um, I, I didn't get your text. But so just keep. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the links. Uh, why do you keep throwing bags at me? <laughs> do you know what else pisses me off about this instant messaging method of communication? Fucking shorthand, abbreviated words. I've genuinely sat there reading a message from my ma thinking she's absolutely steaming, only to find out that she was using what she thought was the new text and acronyms that she just made up Marhid. heed. AUCL. AUCL, are you taking the fucking piss? You can't just take the first few letters of some words, tack them together into some mad acronym <laughs> and try and pass that off as a message. It's not a fucking Da Vinci code. <laughs> Your mum, could you PayPal me 20 quid? 
Well, fuck you then. I think it's just <laughs> social media in general, though, that pisses Jeez. me off. Take Facebook, for example. Facebook is a sea of dead memes, and it's full of that clickbait text to try and get your watch time. When all I want today is sit there and stalk through people's profiles that I've not spoken to since... Yeah, I think that is what everybody uses Facebook for these days. To stalk them little people. Stalk those friends! So yeah, awesome. School just to see if I'm still doing better than them or no. Compare our lives and make myself feel a bit better about myself. Oh. Do you mind the Sandra I went to school with? Turns out she's just lost her job. That's a shame. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear this. I hope everything's okay. You wait for well, the catch. We moved up to the 28th most successful person <laughs> from my class. Got a fucking list. Now all we're waiting for is that wee Mark to have his nervous breakdown. It's been coming, I'll tell you, it's been coming. He's been posting for weeks about this crisis of self-confidence. Wow. What a time to be alive. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you've got any suggestions for things that piss you off, make sure to fire them into the comments and I'll take a look at them for future videos. Thank you for watching. All right, fuck it, I'm going and I'll in. see you in the next video. I never said I'm the nicest guy in the world, but... Well, that was it. Interesting, I'd admit. All right, so I'm just... Okay, so here is the second video from Badgie. Let's roll it. Alright, so I'm just going to dive right in here and start swinging punches. Game developers are arseholes. Okay, maybe not no. every single game developer. I've and done this race track on Grand Theft Auto. Just saying. Consider that the disclaimer. But man, they are proper dicks. Okay, I get it. They're a business. They're out to make money. Just like every single other company on the planet. But what the fuck? They're about one stage away from standing at their game launch with a balaclava and a brick shout Get your money! <laughs> Let's look at DLC for example. DLC is downloadable content to anyone not familiar with the term. I don't know why you wouldn't be. Games have been running this scam for quite a while now. It's additional content that you download to add to the game in question, for an additional cost of course. Pretty sure we've all fell victim to this shit at one point. Don't think another. so. Maybe. Of course I use the term yes, I additional have. content very loosely. Majority of the time we find it's things that should have launched with the initial game. I just like to say my only beef with DLC is when you need to pay for it. I'm all for the free extra content. This only really <laughs> applies to the big boys in game making as well. You have, you have big companies that make millions and millions in game sales and put minimum effort into the design. And then add this interesting stuff into the game with a pay for little DLC drop just to make the bonuses up. I'm sorry game devs or publishers or whoever the fuck cooks up these half-baked <laughs> ideas. But if you're going to make me Jeez. pay for a full game, and no give me the full game, I'm not giving you money for the rest of it. Could you imagine if car makers did that? <laughs> Aye Paul, here's your brand new Vauxhall Corsa. Come back a couple of months and we'll add the brakes to it, and it'll cost you your entire life savings to date, and your left leg. <laughs> I think developers see it as a challenge just to see how much of the game they can actually make into DLC. Back in the day, well, well, this makes me sound old as fuck. <laughs> back in the day when games were made and you got what they gave you. Nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, game devs are tapping us fucking dry with every single game they make. The yeah. worst ones are devs that are making their game totally unplayable unless you buy their content. It's like, come on to fuck. I've seen multiplayer games being launched with three maps. Three fucking maps. At the launch they said, oh, oh um, we'll have more coming in the form of DLC. What do you mean more to come? You've effectively no made anything yet. If I only had half my dinner brought through to me and tell it would be getting less later, I'd start swinging. I think it's a massive piss take when the DLC contains more shit than the fucking game. And why is this? Well this is game developers and publishers trying to milk that cash cow, you know? <laughs> Meanwhile we're bent over the table with our trousers at our ankles getting pumped stupid by the developers while the publishers are dipping our pockets. I've seen games that have launched with the DLC already made. Yep, the extra add-on content is on the original disc of the game and you've just got to pay to unlock it. Come on to fuck! Whatever happened to honesty and only taking what you earn? What was the other thing? Oh aye. Fucking microtransactions. <sighs> oh dear. Pay to win and the likes. Now this affects almost all developers, from small mobile games all the way up to the AAA titles. I'm finding more and more these days games are including their own currencies, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The issue comes from having to spend your own currency to get it. 99 pence for 100 shit points or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> and what can you do with said shit points? Well, you can buy in-game things like characters and skins and all sorts of other shit. 
it's a little bit like DLC, only on a smaller scale. And because the price is so low, we don't even think about it when we buy it. Oh, 50p, I'll have that in my bank account, fuck it, we'll just buy that. Then we start to repeat the process and forget how much we've actually spent and end up spending a fucking fortune. You end up one week for payday trying to get a longer loan because you've sold your house and you've got debt collectors at your door. <laughs> it's pure pish! It's not just about the money side of things either. I've started seeing this lazy game developer culture creeping into games lately. Bugs and glitches that should be getting fixed that aren't they? Wall hacks and all the likes of it. And developers just do nothing about it for whatever reason. Because the game's a year old or because they're working on a new one. I don't give a shit about what you're up to now. You made this shit, get it fixed. Where the fuck is the warranty? Actually, I better not say that. They might start trying to make us pay warranty for games. 2 99 <laughs> a month just to get game updates and keep your game and run in fucking order. That would just be another trick up the old fucking game publisher sleeve. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked this wee rant, drop a like. Feel free to tell me down below if you want to see me ranting about anything else. And remember to subscribe for more PlayStation 1 tutorials. So overall, I reckon the channel's pretty good. Just ranting and rambling on about weird stories and all that type of shit. Sounds like my type of thing, you just watch people play a game and tell, talk about useless bullshit, basically. When you used to go on the days of the PlayStation 2, for anybody who's old enough to remember that time period, where you go to your mate's house and play on the PlayStation and just talk smack about anything and everything. <coughs> I love a good burp. So, yeah. And this has been, well, actually no. Do we have time for one more? Probably not. Right. So yeah, that's been me, this has been RDENG079, and I will catch you next time, you cheeky cunts.